What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to spot a fake Game Boy Advance cartridge. Let's get right into this. So before we get into today's video, I just want to explain that, yes, I know this is a fake Game Boy Advance cartridge. This here I purchased for $7 on Alibaba plus shipping, so it didn't cost me more than $10 to get it shipped to me here in Canada. And this game, if it was an original one, sells for around $100 on eBay. So I know right away that this was a fake. I only purchased this to share with you how to spot a fake. So whenever you're out in the wild looking for these games, you know what to look for when it comes to fakes. The first thing we're gonna be focusing on is the label. This is the quickest and most accurate way to spot a fake. The first thing you want to look at is spelling. A lot of fake cartridges have a misspelling. You have to remember the countries and the people that make these fake games, usually their first language is not English. So you definitely want to look over it and make sure not only the Nintendo logo is all spelt correctly, but you also want to make sure the title of the game and all the other text is also spelled correctly. If not, it likely is a fake. The most common thing that is misspelled is not only the Nintendo logo, but also the Nintendo official seal. You definitely want to check those two spots for spelling. The next thing with the label that you want to look for is the official Nintendo seal. For most fakes, it isn't even there, or if it is, it's been printed to look like it is worn. You want to make sure that it is not only visible, but it is legible. And if the seal itself looks like it is faded or worn out, but the rest of the label looks great, you know that chances are this is likely a fake. For this one here, it actually has the official seal looking like it is supposed to. So looking at just the seal itself, you wouldn't know that this is a fake, which is why you want to look at a whole bunch of things when you're looking at these cartridges and add it up yourself to see and determine if it is a fake. Just because one thing is accurate as is the original, doesn't mean that you are not having a fake in your hands. And the last thing I'm gonna be talking about for the label is a number imprint, usually right above the official Nintendo seal. There is an imprint in the sticker for kind of like a serial number. This one here does not have it, which is why I absolutely know without a doubt that this is a fake. Not only that, I did purchase it from Alibaba, but if it does not have that number imprinted above the official Nintendo seal, it is most definitely a fake. All Game Boy cartridges above the official Nintendo seal do have an imprint with those numbers. Now, sometimes those numbers can change, but all fakes usually do not have that above the seal. Now for your Game Boy Advance cartridge, if everything for the label adds up and does look like it's legit, the next best way to check to see if it is a real or fake cartridge is by opening it up and taking a closer look at the motherboard. That is the best way to determine if something is fake because most fakes on the inside look the exact same and as long as you know what you're looking for you can spot a fake now unfortunately for me i can't go and look inside but because this is a transparent case for me holding it up to the lights i can tell that everything inside looks to be as if it was a fake cartridge i'll put a photo up on the screen so you guys can tell the difference between a real and a fake game boy advanced cartridge a real game should have mx on it most most fakes are missing the MX or have some Japanese writing which would not be authentic to a Nintendo Game Boy Advance cartridge. Also look at the fonts and the size of the Nintendo text as well as spelling. Also keep in mind the position of the components. Most fakes look the same. If you look at the fake, that is exactly what to expect to see for a fake cartridge. So if you're able to open up your cartridge prior to purchasing it when you're out in the wilds and it looks like this, chances are it likely is a fake. Like I said, for me, for this cartridge right here, since it is a green transparent color, I can hold it up to a light and tell the insides without opening it up. But if it is the original gray ones for most Game Boy Advance cartridges, you are going to want to open it up to look inside. Otherwise, you won't be able to holding it up to a light. Now, of course, there is other ways to tell if a Game Boy Advance cartridge is a fake, but these are, in my opinion, the easiest and quickest ways to determine if your cartridge is a fake. Now, keep in mind that just because one thing looks like it is real and looks like it is something that is on a real cartridge, doesn't mean that that cartridge is fake. You're gonna to want to look at multiple elements, and if there's multiple things that are wrong and leaning you towards it being fake, 
chances are it is fake. My cartridge here does have the official seal looking quite legit and there's no misspellings but because on the label here it does not have the number imprints and of course by looking inside I can tell the motherboard is fake. I know without a doubt that this cartridge is fake so you're definitely going to want to look at multiple elements whenever you're checking out to see if a cartridge is real or fake rather than just checking the most common things. And the last thing that you're gonna to want to check whenever you're finding these out in the wild to determine whether or not you think something is fake is going to be the price of the item. If you know something is like this game here, a real one is around $100, and they're selling it for $50 or less, chances are that game is fake. But just because you spot a fake game out in the wild does not mean that that person is trying to scam you. They might just not know what to look for and they might not even know that that game is a fake. They might just be trying to get rid of it or sell it because they don't use it or they don't know really what they have. So don't always assume that the person that is selling a fake knows that it is a fake. Sometimes they don't know, but sometimes they do. So I hope this video helps you guys determine when you're out in the wild how to tell if a game Game Boy Advance cartridge is real or fake. Now, of course, I'm not expecting everybody to have the tools to open these up to check the motherboard, myself included. I do not have the tools to do so right now, but you can tell by the label and if there's multiple things wrong with the label, it likely is a fake. And that is what I would do if I was out in the wild looking for myself. I would always check the label and make sure it's legit. And if I still have questions, of course, I'm not gonna buy something until I look over the motherboard to make sure that it is is legit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.